Welcome back to another video and today with the TicWatch Pro 5 which has Google Wear OS 3.5 and all Google functionalities like Google Wallet, NFC Payments, Google Maps, Google Play Store which will give us the freedom to install any app available and at this moment with Wear OS 3.5 we don't even need the app on our phone anymore so we have a lot more freedom just using the smartwatch which is awesome i've been using it for about one week and a half doing some spots trying this and that and hopefully today i will be able to share all that info with you now let's start with the processor right over here which is the snapdragon w5 generation one and this is important because we are getting a lot more battery while increasing the power and performance of the smartwatch besides that it has two gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of flash storage that we can use to store a lot of apps and also music if we want to it has a strong construction all made of aluminium but at the same time it's a light watch i would say that when we touch it we will feel the quality so it has that heaviness that we feel but at the same time when we use it as a watch it is light it has here the bezels all made of metallic so it will protect the glass which is a corning gorilla glass the display is an oled display with a awesome brightness even when we are outside with direct sunlight we will see really well it has a dual layer display which is not new but is in Proved. it is always visible even when it's not active and we have the option to change the background colors or even use our heart rate frequency to change those colors watch faces is something that might limit a smartwatch or might make that smartwatch just a great tool to use and enjoy and in this particular case mobvoi team with the tick watch pro 5 did a great job as usual they have a lot of watch faces and i believe that at least one of those watch faces will be perfect for each one of us so there are a lot to choose from and besides being able to choose the watch face there are a few that we can customize and change the watch letters above or below or we can change the background with a picture of our own and a lot more now if this is not enough we can always go to the google play store and search for more watch faces so it's endless the way that we can use it and now let's take a closer look at the watch at this moment is with the second layer activated and if we move the wrist it will activate the brightness but will not enter the main display to save battery we will have some info like the hour date the battery remaining heart rate measurements and if i scroll the crown right over here it will also give me the options for measuring temperature measuring the oxygen saturation on blood and calories and also heart rate so even though we are on the second layer we have a lot of information look at this awesome and gorgeous display right over here actually if i go to the settings and select the display brightness it is on adaptive so let's put into the maximum brightness and we will go back to the menu now in terms of navigation it's really easy and one of the things that we can customize which is really awesome are the tiles now at this moment i've got about 10 tiles right over here which i believe that it's the maximum so i just need to go right or left so I'm at the beginning and if I go to left I go to the last one but to customize I just need to select the tiles right over here and I can add these and I can change for example my last one is Strava but if I want to remove and add the calculator now if I go to the last one I've got the calculator instead of the Strava app which is really awesome and if I go to previously I've got the tick exercise and if I want to replace one the other I just need to do that and I've got tick exercise first or last and then the calculator so we can customize all of these and besides customizing we can activate yeah 10 out of 10 so this customization is great in my opinion because i can put the smartwatch the way exactly that i want now if i press the crown i will go to the main display main the size if we change or if we touch to uh, bottom to top we will have the notifications and the notifications have something really interesting which is if i want to uh, read this right over here i can read on the phone or I can on the on the watch sorry or I can also read on the phone so I can say okay I want to read this on my 
phone i just need to press open on phone and there we go we go exactly to what we were hearing so let's try this one right over here okay i think that the title is interesting and open on phone and boom there we go this is a really cool function that it's right over here so this will happen with anything that uh, we use either messages or notifications like news that we have right over here. Besides that, if we move to the top, then we will have the settings all right over here. We can also edit with that button, Wi-Fi connection. Actually, if we go right over here, we will have the connectivity, which will allow us to enable Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and NFC. At this moment, I'm connected via Bluetooth to the phone, so I will have access to everything, but through the phone. If I want to connect directly to my hotspot via Wi-Fi, this is where I need to set it up and that is it. I don't need the phone to access Wi-Fi connectivity right over there. Besides that, we have the display settings, we have gesture settings that we can enable or not the touch to wake as I do right now, touch to lock, touch and hold watch face to change, which I also have enabled, the apps and notifications, how they behave if we want to have all the apps and all the notifications or if we want to select each one and we can select right over here to customize them the default apps and so on so there is a lot that we can do with the options as you can see even disable for example if i remove the watch i don't want it to vibrate i can disable right over here which is also really cool then we have the general options which is a lot as well and also they include a tutorial that we should watch i did already or we will get lost with so many options that we have right over here the health profile where we put our data in so that it will measure our sports activity everything that we do heart rate measurements and so on and so forth there's also the version of android which is 11 at this moment if we go back we also have here at the bottom about which shows Wear OS 3.5, which in my opinion is working awesome on the TicWatch Pro 5. In terms of sports, I'm really active as you guys know, but for the last couple of weeks I've been a bit inactive, not only because of work, but also because I did hurt myself a little bit, so I've been gradually starting up. But I did a few tests, and one of which was on Paddle, which is a sport that although TicWatch Pro 5 has more than 100 sports, I did not find Paddle on the menu, so I had to use tennis, which I believe that is alright, but if TicWatch watches this video, then probably at some time in the future Paddle would be great. Now, in terms of the results that I have on the few exercises that I did, was that the watch is quite accurate. Now, I always compare with my chest strap, which is something that I use on a daily basis for jogging, for pedal, for anything that I do. And what I do notice is that in terms of heart rate measurement, it's not that off. I would say that it's not off at all. The only difference is that it has a longer delay so it will take uh, half a second or something like that to register that same heart rate because the chest strap is faster to acquire that's the only reason but when i do compare the graphics they are very similar so i would say that very very accurate probably a little bit more than the tickwatch pro 3 ultra gps that we tried right over here but at that time i did mention that there was a little bit of delay this one right over here is more accurate with less delay but there's always on any smartwatch compared to a chest strap it has all the sensors that we require to register all the details while we are doing exercises like if we are climbing a mountain or if we are going faster or slower and depending on the app that we use those details will be registered or not. An example on the tick exercise app is that it will register everything it will give us all the information that we require for example and the GPS is really accurate but if we need more detail from that map we do not have so we are a little bit limited. Limited. Nonetheless, with the freedom of Google Play Store, we can install apps like Strava, for example, and then if we use Strava, then we will have a lot more detail, and that's exactly where we can see that the GPS is really accurate. So, right over here, I would say that sometimes we have some limitations, but the watch using Wear OS 3.5, we will be able to overcome those limitations, and in my opinion, at the end of the day, that's the great value of something like this. Comparing my iPhone 11 Pro or even the Samsung Galaxy, they are not as 
accurate as the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS or not even like the TicWatch Pro 5. But we did videos about that, links right over here, so it's not news to you. This one is a little bit more accurate even than the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS was. If we want to receive or make phone calls, it's also really intuitive, very easy. Of course, we are connected via Bluetooth to our mobile phone. And then we just need to either select the dial pad if we know the phone of the person that we are contacting or if we go to our contact list we just need to select the name press and we have that call or we can accept that call as well now in terms of the volume this is one of the things that has been improved as well the speaker that is here the speakers have only one watt of power Nesta nossa conversa, vamos olhar para o impacto da política. Portanto, temos o 25 de abril de 74. But the sound is just awesome. Actually, I've been using it to listen to radio and the experience has been really, really interesting. It doesn't replace, but almost replaces the need to be using headphones. The battery is 628 milliamps and Mobvoi states that it will last up to 80 hours. Hours. Now, I would say that these 80 hours are a rough measurement of intensive usage and low intensive usage because I was able to get almost one week out of this using it without much support. So, if we don't use the GPS every single day, I would expect to be able to use for about four to five days without any issues whatsoever, which is great. Usually when we see the specifications on the manufacturer, it's always below of those specs. And here, what I'm finding on my test is that actually we can get a little bit more than what they state, but depending on the usage. So one of the things that is frustrating is a user that does not use that equipment intensively at the end of the day, one day has to charge it. Right over here, if you don't use it that intensively, then you will be able to use it for about four to five days without worrying about charging the battery. On the other hand, if we use the GPS intensively, if we listen to music and if we use a lot of apps intensively, then yeah, probably the 80 hours or a little bit less depending on our usage. Talking about battery and charging, it has a quick charge, so it will charge in half an hour 65% and besides that, it has a really cool animation, which is something boring when we are charging an device, but here, at least for a couple days, we will be entertaining looking at that graphic. So in my opinion, the TicWatch Pro 5 is a smartwatch that it's well designed, well thought, and the implementation was great. It is pretty, it has a lot of functionality, great battery duration, and it is resistant with Wear OS 3.5, which will give us the freedom to have any app and do whatever we want with this smartwatch almost replacing our smartphone and in some case scenarios replacing it. Now there's only one thing that I was not able to test out at this moment and that is I've got an iPhone which is not capable of connecting yet. So at this moment we have to use an Android phone to use the TicWatch Pro 5 but later on I do believe that iPhones will be included as well and when that too it will be a great addition and I will share with you also. If you still have any questions please drop them down below because I will be doing a following up especially on this sports mode. I want to measure if I jog every single day with GPS and if I paddle every day and if I do all that sorts of situations that I do on a daily basis, how long will I get the battery and how long will we be able to achieve while using it intensively? And if that's one of the questions, then don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to the channel because I will come up with all those tests and more accurate tests. And if the video was helpful in some way, don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.